Hi everyone, so Cloudflare is a really underrated platform to host your Next.js application. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to host your Next.js application on Cloudflare and how easy it is. I have a fresh Next.js application running on localhost at the moment, and there are only two changes we need to make to make sure that our Next.js application actually works on Cloudflare. The first change we need to make is to make sure that all of our pages are configured to run on the Edge runtime. And for that, all you need to do is export cons runtime is equal to edge on every single page that you have. This will make your pages run on the edge environment, which is what Cloudflare needs. I'm going to save this file. And the next change that we need to make is actually use another package to build our application. To install that package, you just open up your terminal and you install as a dev dependency at Cloudflare slash next on pages. Wait for this package to be installed. Once this package is installed, now let's add a new command in our scripts. I'm going to call it pages colon build. And this command is going to run npx and the package name cloudflare slash next on pages. Save that. To make sure that this command works, let's now test it in the terminal. Open up the terminal again and type npm run pages build. This is actually going to start building our application. As you can see, it's working okay. And there we go. We can see that this command successfully works and is able to build our Next.js application. All we need to do now is just save these changes and commit them. I'm going to commit this and then push it up to my repository. Most of our work now is done. Now, I have this project in a GitHub repository, and we're gonna use this repository to publish on Cloudflare. So go to your Cloudflare dashboard, go on workers and pages, and then click on create application. The best way to add an XGS application is through a Git repository. So I'm gonna do connect to Git and select your repository. I've called this repository Next.js on Cloudflare. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to keep everything as is. And for framework preset, I'm going to select Next.js. As you can see, it's automatically recommending us the Cloudflare Next on Pages command. Keep everything as is, and if you need to add any environment variables, you'd add them here. Save and deploy. Now, the very first time you deploy this, it won't work, and we need to make a slight adjustment. I'll show you what that is. Wait for this to get deployed. Now that it's successfully deployed, if I click on this link, I know that it's not going to work. Let's just look at the error that it shows us. Cloudflare actually helps us recognize what the issue is it's actually gonna show us what the error is. We need to add the Node.js compact as a compatibility flag. So I'm going to copy this, come back to our dashboard, go to settings, functions, and then come to compatibility flags. Click on configure production compatibility flags and paste the flag here. Save that. And now also do that for your preview flags. I'm going to save that. Now come back to deployments again. And what we're going to do is we're going to redeploy it. We're going to try redeployment and wait for this to get deployed again. Now your application will actually work. And there we go. Our deployment is complete. Now if I come back to my site and refresh, you can see that the site is working. Now your Next.js application is deployed fully on Cloudflare and everything is working. This process was quite simple and I actually think Cloudflare is very good at hosting your Next.js application compared to services such as Vercel or AWS, Netlify or anything else like that because their free tier is actually very friendly. I hope you found this video helpful. If you guys need help with anything Next.js related, just let me know in the comments and I will make a video about it. Thank you for watching. Bye.